Moving on, and bad news, everyone pretty much apparently sitting can kill you, according to Australian <laughs> research. Uh, the longer you spend sitting down, the more likely you are to die of an early death. This is well, positive stuff. Yeah, this is positive <laughs> stuff. Well, I got emailed to us to talk about from Kitty Flanagan. Kitty, really? <laughs> Telling Channel 10. I'll wait, tell you that right now. Wait, really? So, Listen. So sitting can kill you. I mean, look at me. I'm a daredevil. I do this every night. Dicing with death. Yeah. Yeah. Look, mate, joke all you like, but they've done experiments on animals proving that when they sit still for long periods of time, they stop producing key enzymes. Enzymes you need to keep you alive. And yes, it was a controversial experiment forcing dogs to sit still for an extended period. I think we've got some pictures. And please look away if you're upset by <laughs> images of animal experimentation. But you can't argue with the results. Every one of those poker-playing dogs is now dead, whereas all the dogs who stood up and played snooker for hours, they're all still alive and kicking. If that doesn't convince you, then take a look at these stats. Franz Schubert, dead at 31. Mozart, dead at 35. Both these men spent hours seated at a piano. Or a musical death trap, as I prefer to call it. Now, one man who clearly recognised the mortal danger of the piano was the dude from Pseudo Echo, which is why he championed the keto, an instrument that can save your life, which is proven by this next photo taken almost 30 years later, where we see the same dude from Pseudo Echo, now in his 50s, still rocking the same keto and still taking us down to funky town. Oh, yeah. Who's laughing now? Well, obviously we are because it still looks ridiculous, but hey, at least he's not dead. Kitty, I, I, I hate to be cold in your research, but I have a question. If, yeah. sitting, if sitting down reduces your lifespan, shouldn't men be living longer than women simply because we pee standing up? <laughs> yes. That is a good point. Why was that not picked up by me? Um, because you're right, women do live longer than men, so I guess maybe even though men pee standing up, well, they do sit sometimes, and I've got to say, when they do, they sure take their sweet time about it. So, um, maybe, maybe that's the argument for leaving the reading material at the door, fellas, and not spending half a day on the can. That's it. Get in, get out, live long and prosper. See, the science tells us we, should, we shouldn't sit for more than four hours at a time, so the people in this industry that we really need to worry about are the breakfast TV presenters. It's actually better to be a weatherman, it turns out. According to research... Grant Denyer will outlive Melancoshi and Steve Jacobs will outlive Carl Stefanovic and Richard Wilkins. So it's not all bad news. Um, well, that's it. I'm done. Now, for your own health, I suggest you all stand and give me an ovation and I'll see you next week. I swear they're standing, Kitty. They really are. We will see you next week.